It was a pleasure being here today to explain you about the problems related to tautology, contradiction and contingency from mathematical logics. So if you follow my videos in the playlist, clearly have kept everything into the palms of your hand and definitely you can raise your score. Hopefully you will go through it soon. And now in this video, I am going to explain. So what is this tautology, contradiction and contingency? And I am going to solve the problems related to these topics. So now, first of all, I would like to recap the main points. That is, what is tautology, contradiction and contingency? In my previous video, I have said you that is a compound proposition that is always true. See here, the compound proposition. So the last end of the statement, if it is true always, then it is said to be a tautology. And next one, what is this contradiction? So contradiction is nothing but the compound proposition that is always false. See here, which is always false here. See here, the last end of the statement, if it is always false, it is contradiction. If it is always true, then this is tautology. And next one, what is contingency? The proposition that is neither tautology nor a contradiction is called contingency. So if it's a mixture of true, false, then this one is called contingency. Got an idea? So now you have got an idea about the tautology, contradiction and contingency. And now we are going to solve the problems. Now the first problem here is indicate which of the following formulas are tautologies or contradiction. The first thing here is given as P implies P or Q. Clear? So now we have to find the truth table for this. P implies P or Q. So obviously, so what I am going to do? So I am going to write true true and next one this is false false and next one true false and this is again true false so for or so for disjunction so what is the logic you have to remember if they are two false immediately you have to write a false so here observe true 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 false false true and again here this is false false so for disjunction so if they are two false immediately write false and the rest are all, see here, rest are all trues. So this is true, this is true and this is true. Clear. And next one for implies. So implies between P or Q and P. So we have to take these two statements and we have to apply implies. So for implies a symbol. So for implies a symbol, what is the formula here? So what is the thing which you have to remember? True false means you have to write false. See here, if it is true and false, so we have to write only false. So when you compare these two, this is true, 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 false, true, and this is false, true. So there is no case of true, false. So first there is no true and second there is no false. So opposite to F, so what we have to write? So we have to write T, true, clear. So if there is only true, false, so there is no True, false here. So true, true, false, true, false, false. And therefore, if all the composition, the last proposition, if it is true, then we say that this is a tautology. So this is a tautology if the compound proposition is always true. And next one, the question here is, so this is a tautology. And next one, this is P implies negation P which implies negation P. See here. So this is the second truth table. And now see here, they are only, there is only one variable. So this is true and this is false. So what is the negation of it? Negation is nothing but the negative statement. If it is true, you have to write false. If it is false, you have to write true. And in between P and negation P, see here, in between these two, what we have to frame we have to frame implies. For implies a symbol. So what is the logic which you have to remember? If it is true and false. So immediately write false. So true and false. You have to write false. Otherwise this is true. Clear? And next in between these two. So in between these two tables. Negation P. In between these two tables we have to apply implies. First we need true and next we need false. So there is no case for this. So there is no case. So instead of writing F, I am writing T. True. Clear? 
you got this one so for implication so what we have to find out first we have to find out true so there is true here but there is no false here therefore instead of writing f i am writing t so if the compound proposition is true always then we say that this is a tautology so clear so the next thing is a tautology so this is a tautology and the next one is negation q and p negation sorry negation q and p and q so we have to find whether this is a tautology or a contradiction so this is the compound table so in this compound table what we have to write first we have to take trues and next we have to take false true true see here this is true and this is true and again we have to take false and this is false and again one true one false one true and one false so the negation the negative statement of q is so if it is true write false if it is false write true if it is true write false false true and next one negation q and p so among these two and symbol so here for and symbol what is the logic for and means see here if there are two trues immediately write one true so otherwise false so you check among these two true true so here there is true true right true and false 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 true so rest are all false clear and next one among these two this one and this one so among these two you check and if uh, the conjunction the corrective symbol is and so true 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 so among these two you have to check if there is true true so there is no true true and you have to write false 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 and therefore if the composition table is all false so what we'll say if it is false always we are going to say it is a contradiction so this one is a contradiction so this one is a contradiction And the next one is P and Q implies P. So this is P and Q implies P. So this is the truth table which is needed to be solved. So this is two T's and two F's. True, true, false, false. And this is true, false. And this is again true, false. For unsymbol, what is the logic here? For un, if there are two T's, write immediately T for the unsymbol. So you have to check true, true. This is true again. And see, there are no two T's. And therefore, so we have to write with an opposite statement that is false. And next one, among P and Q implies P. So among these two, so we have to apply double implies. So if it is a double implies a symbol, so if there are two T's or two false, so immediately we are going to write T. See, among these two tables, so you have to check, they are true, true, so again true, so false, false, again true, and false, false, again true, and here see, so this is true, false, so there is no possibility I am writing false, so if it is neither a tautology nor a contradiction, then we say this as contingency, see here, what we will say, this is contingency, Clear. And the next thing here is contingency. And the next one is P and negation P. So this is P and negation P. So there is only one variable here. So we have to take true and this is false. Negation for true is false and negation for false is true. See, among these two, there is an unsymbol. So, for unsymbol, what we have to do? If there are two t's, immediately write one t. Otherwise, false. So, there are no two t's and therefore, I am writing as false, false. So, if the proposition is false always in the composition, then we say that it is a contradiction. So, this one is a contradiction. Clear? And now this one is a contradiction. 
And next one, the last one here is P implies Q if and only if negation P or Q. So negation P or Q. So as usual that we have to take two T's true true. So this is true true and this is false false. So for Q it is true false and this is again true false for imply symbol. So as usual for imply symbol what is for the, this connectivity if it is true false. So immediately you have to write false. So is there any true false? So this is true 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 false. So immediately you have to write false and the rest are all trues. Clear. And negation P. So what will be the negation P? So negation P is a negative statement of P. If it is true, write false. If it is true, write false. If it is false, write true. If it is false, write true. And next one among these two that is negation P or Q. See here, this is negation P or Q. For the symbol or, so which one you have to remember? So for or symbol, if there are two F's, immediately write one F. Otherwise true. See here, I am going to write. So among these two, are there any FF? True, true. See here. So we have to find false, false. So here there is false, false and I am writing false. And the rest are all trues. Clear. And now among these two, so which one we have to check? So P implies Q among these one, P implies Q and negation P or Q. So among these two, what is the symbol here? Double implies. So for double implies, for the symbol double implies, for this connectivity, if there are two trues or true false, write as true. And remaining are all, remaining are all C false. And see, there are two true, trues and therefore I am writing true. Two false, I am writing true. Two T's, again T and this is also T. If the composition statement is always true, then what we say? So this is a tautology. So this is how we have to write all the statements and this is again a tautology. So now, Indicate which of the following formulae are tautologies and contradictions. So the first one is tautology, second one tautology, contradiction, contingency. It is contradiction and again this one is tautology. So this is how we have to follow each and every step. If you know the definition of tautology, contradiction and contingency and all the connective statements that is negation, disjunction, conjunction, implication and biconditional thing. So if you learn two videos from my playlist, definitely this video will be very easy and you can solve by your own. You can do any problem of any kind if it's given in the question paper. So it will be very helpful if you follow these videos and definitely one one video will move on to your next level and thank you so much for watching you know what to do if you really like please subscribe to this channel stay connected follow these videos uh, pass it on to your friends uh, your family your siblings and every everything and it is your responsibility to keep learning and keep growing thank you so much